Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember that the timing is fluid and this is not a private reading. So it's not geared towards one individual in particular. So... Bits and pieces may resonate, bits and pieces may not. The whole thing may or the whole thing may not. This is for Cancer. What does Cancer need to hear for the week ahead? Looks like your hard work is paying off, Cancer. Absolutely. You've been putting in a lot of effort. Therefore, you're going to get some sort of wish fulfillment. It's like a blessing is coming. Some sort of blessing is coming. Could have something to do with this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's... If you've been alone, you've been, you may not be alone for much longer. You may be starting to come out of your shell. So... If you are starting to come out of your shell, you could be receiving some sort of gift from above. You've worked really hard. It looks like you guys are really focused at this time as well. Focused on the eye on the prize. And you are going to receive something. So, Ooh. Now, You may have been rejected by a fire sign as well that has kept you down, that, you know, has made you feel um, less than available, okay? You may have dealt with somebody that betrayed you, you know, rejected you, um, caused you to retreat. But it looks like you guys have found your confidence again. Okay, it looks like you've refound your confidence. It's, it's like that fire has been relit, which is really, really good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, somebody, somebody brought you down. Somebody did bring you down, for sure. There's a lack of respect, and there was a. It was like they didn't recognize you, and it, it really made you feel like. you'd be better off alone. You know, I think that you were dealing with somebody, you had dealt with somebody that put you into crisis mode. My ear is starting to ring, by the way. You know, but, you know, this whoever this person was that you were dealing with, that opportunity wasn't solid anyway. <clears throat> okay? It wasn't a solid opportunity. It wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. It wasn't anything that you could count on, you know, um, this person doesn't respect people, period. Okay, so just let that one go. Let that one go. Because you're going to receive a reward for the suffering that you've been through by the looks of things. Um, yeah, that person didn't respect you. It, you you know? And, and that's the way it is. I mean, it's, it's sad that that happens. But when you go through periods of like that, when you go, go through people that are like that, all it does is make you stronger. It does. And you obviously needed to find your strength. Let me get this zoomed in. Oh, because here there's lack of mental strength. The reason this happened with this person that was negative in your life and, and used you or whatever it was, this happened so that you could find your strength. This is the king of wands. This is the king of strength. Okay? So that you could find your self-worth and your self-confidence. This person brought you down, used you and abused you so that you could find strength. There's a reason why everything happens, right? There is. There is. You are going to be rewarded for this situation. <clears throat> okay? You're going to begin to feel uh, like you're not left in the cold anymore. Sorry, I had to take a drink. 
you're going to begin to feel like the conflict that you've been feeling internally is going to start z dissolving if it hasn't already. I think it has because I see your confidence. I see that your confidence is, is high at this time. It's higher than it has because you've worked so hard. You've worked so hard to come out of this darkness, to come out of this dark period. You have. So congratulations. The darkness that you've been experiencing, I think that that's over. And you are going to receive something, a blessing from above. You may have went through a repression. You may have, you know, went through a loss of self. But... Everybody goes through that. Everybody. And I think that time is over. I do. I think it, I think that time is over. Um, yes, it is. Thank you, Lord. So you guys are about to receive something beautiful, wonderful. Okay? This is, a, this is like a new beginning. It really, really is. This could even be a new partner. This is something that you really, really, really want. Seriously. These are, this is wonderful. You are receiving something that is going to make you very, very, very happy. Happiness is coming. You were dealing with somebody that was a trickster. And they may have stolen your power for a little while. But I feel like now you've seen the light and you are no longer going to let this person have the power. You're taking back the power. You're seeing the light. Yes, you have a new partner. You and I thought this was a new partner. You absolutely have a new partner. It's like that. You, and this is going to be an instant attraction, an instant connection. It's going to be an instant pull. So yeah, you guys have a a new partnership on the horizon that has a lot of growth attached to it. Um, there's going to be a lot of passion, and it's going to be exciting. And it's because of, it's because you are, it looks like you are no longer holding on to that unrealistic expectation that you're going to get any apology or anything from whoever it was that burned you. You know, it's like you, you're letting go of the unrealistic notions that you've held on to. That's what it looks like to me. You're giving up on the dead end situation. It's like, I'm not wasting my time here anymore. You're standing up for yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's what's happening. It's like you're putting yourself back on top. No longer do they have the control over you. And because you have stood your ground and you worked whole, so, so, so hard to get back to where you need to be, you are receiving a reward. There's, there's no doubt. It's a new partnership. It is. It's a new partnership or, or it's a... <laughs> A relit spark, you know, it's like the spark has been relit. And it's because you found the strength. This is a card of strength. And let's see where I put it. You guys have persevered and now you're coming back out on top. You didn't give up. You didn't give up on love, right? You may have for a minute, but that time was needed. This time of introspection was needed, but it's, you're coming out of it. The time of loneliness is, is going to start to dissipate. And you're going to have multiple options, Cancer. You probably have multiple options right now, and you have to make a decision where you're going to go, what you're going to do. What option do you want? Be Make sure that you listen. Follow your intuition. Don't deny your intuition, okay? Because your intuition is going to give you the answer, because you do have multiple options. Follow your intuition. Don't go with your pants, okay? Follow your intuition. You're going to encounter some people that have hidden agendas. This is hidden agendas. Beware. Listen to your intuition. Oh, see, I mean, if you like I said, you're going to read in the end, you're going to encounter some people that are honest and truthful. Intuition, inner guide. 
You need to really listen at this time. If you get a nudge that something is up with a person, that gut instinct, instantly you're like, oh, this person is wicked attractive because this is what this is. Somebody has already gotten messed up with somebody that was very attractive. Don't let the attractiveness fool you. Okay? Don't. Because this person will bring you down. And that's a lesson you need to learn. So this is follow your gut. Somebody, if somebody may be coming into your life very, very quickly. Like lickety split. You know, just like that. Be careful. Again, I just feel the need to tell you to be careful. If somebody comes rushing at full speed, they might have hidden agendas. It's right over this hidden agendas card. You know? Patience. If somebody is real, they will not be in a hurry. Keep that in mind. And this woman that you've dealt with in the past, she's in a hurry. She's impulsive. She, she doesn't think before she's not thinking before she acts she's so impulsive she moves way 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 too fast he or she because we have the he we have them both so it could be either way in this one but when somebody is texting you constantly and they need constant attention red flag red flag red flag that's a codependent person beware of impulsive people If they're in a hurry, they have issues. Just saying. Listen. Follow your gut. You don't want to get betrayed again, do you? Now, the Ten of Swords is a completion of a negative cycle. The storm is over. The storm is over. If you listen, you have to listen to your inner guide. You have to have faith and you have to believe. And you have to trust in divine, in the divine, in your gut and in the divine. You have to believe, trust, have faith. This is the sign of Taurus. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Aquarius up here, Cancer down here. It doesn't matter who they are. I'm just felt the need to tell you. The storm that you have been through is over. You have the opportunity to have a new beginning with somebody where there's a strong magnetic attraction. But, and you have options, so I'm here to say be careful with which one you choose. It's not all about looks, it's about integrity. Do you guys even have the same spiritual beliefs? I mean, you might want to ask the person about that. Do you have the same beliefs? Be I mean, the same kind of beliefs. Otherwise, you know, there's going to be conflict. Yes, it's like you don't want to throw away the stable, solid opportunity by choosing the wrong one based on looks or whatever it is. Be careful. Be careful. The fast-moving person will betray you. That's a message you need to hear. You're looking for somebody stable and solid. And whoever's swooping in like wildfire is not stable and solid. I would choose another option. That's my opinion. Yes, there's an offer of love here with somebody that has a good heart. You want to go with heart. Go with heart over looks. I don't know where this is coming from, but yeah, somebody, you know, you're, somebody is coming into your life quickly, 
quickly. You have multiple opportunities. You do. And it's like there's going to be such a fire lit under your ass. You might feel a little impulsive because the attraction is so big. Follow your heart and your intuition. You're going to receive the justice you deserve for dealing with this person that didn't reciprocate. You were involved in a one-sided situation with the Six of Coins reversed. They stole your strength. They stole your willpower. Whatever they did, it was bad. And whatever they did, you know, you're going to receive the justice. You're going to receive what you deserve for being the right, for doing the right thing, acting with integrity. You're going to probably receive a couple of messages of love from different people. I think it's at least two different people, at least maybe even more. You're going to receive a message of love and I'm telling you right now to follow your heart, not your eyes. This is like the truth is being revealed. You're you are absolutely receiving something. This is absolutely follow your intuition at this time. Your intuition is going to give you the, all the answers that you need. There's something being brought to you that's been in the works for quite some time. You know what I mean? It's like the universe was waiting for the right time. You know what I mean? It was hidden. It was a hidden force that was working in your favor. But they wanted you to put in effort to find strength, to regain your focus in your power before they brought you this love. They wanted you to evolve. You had to go through this dark night of the soul moment, whatever it was, to find this strength to persevere through a difficult situation. It's, that's a life lesson. Anyway, you're going to get some sort of reward and it's going to happen fast. And you're going to have to choose wisely with that Seven of Cups. You're going to have to choose wisely. Do you go with your... Looks? Do you go with looks or do you go with heart? That's what this is about. Do you choose somebody for their body and, and or do you choose somebody for their heart? Because the person that you choose for the for their body is not a good person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm not dealing with any cancers right now, so don't think that I am putting my feelings into this. I haven't no. Mm -mm. you are going to get what you deserve if you follow your intuition and go with your heart in your heart and your intuition this person over here this fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius who, or it could be any woman. I don't know who it is. It's a one-sided relationship. It's where one person's putting in all the effort. And nobody and the other person isn't doing a damn thing. And you may have tried really, really, really hard to make it work with this person. But this person has no ambition. They have no drive. It's like they're a dud. They're fucking dud. Excuse my language. But they look good. Their body fits the what you're usual, what you're attracted to, right? But their, their mind and their heart and everything else is not there. So, anyway, be careful. You have, this is a decision between two. Look at this. There, it's a decision between two. You have to make a choice. Between two options. Heart versus... body <laughs> I, mean, I can't make this shit up it is what it is 
do the right thing to get your reward. Because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. So you do have an opportunity for a new partnership coming in. It's going to come in very, very quickly and you have to make a choice. In the past, if you have chosen for the looks and it hasn't worked out, well, take that as a lesson learned. I don't know where that is coming from. I really don't, but it is it's a message somebody needs to hear. If somebody is swooping in fast and they look real good, back up. Doo -doo. Here it is. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Go for it. But go with the one that makes your heart pitter-patter. That gives you butterflies. That you can't live without. Because you know you can't. When you see them and you look at them and you feel those butterflies... Because they're such a good person. You know they're a good person. You feel it in your heart. Go with that one. Don't go with the one that's all made up and fake, okay? Because you will get your heart broken by following that one. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's kind of like this. Have fun. You deserve this. You deserve this happiness. And you are being given it. It's like heaven sent. Heaven is sending you a new playmate, basically. And it could lead to marriage. But choose wisely. Discernment. Discernment. Look it up if you don't know what it means. You want somebody real. Not somebody who's fake. Good luck.